So I'm in the middle of another project and I ran across a need to reduce the length of some reds of threads of a uh, knob like this one, threaded knob. And uh, the way I'd normally do it, I'd stick this end in the vise, the part I want to cut off and crunch it in the vise really tight, cut it off with a hacksaw and then just sort of manually take it over the grinder and uh, get it to length. Um, stealing a play out of Tom Lipton's book, if you want to be able to do precise amount of thread removal plus get it square and all that, uh, he made a simple tool and I'm sort of, I don't know if mine's a variation or it's the exact copy. I can't exactly remember, I just know I, where I got the idea from. Um, uh, what you do is you drill and tap for the specific threads you're interested in, slit it, drill and tap the opposite way to create a clamp and just tighten on the thread slightly. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to make uh, a little variation on it. I'm going to make this two-sided. So two common ones I use is 3 8 16 and quarter 20. So I'm going to make one for each side. So I'm going to center drill this then I'm going to drill and tap for 3 8 25, uh, 3 8 16 and uh, then I'm going to do the quarter 20 on this side. I'll do that off camera. I did clean this up off camera. You know how I like my shiny metal. Um, one thing, uh, then I'll flip it over and I will do the 1024 through. Um, I got to do a 1024 halfway with a clearance hole and threads on the second half so that you can pull it tight. And uh, I'm only going to show you one side of each because, to be honest, the idea of what this uh, tool does is a lot more useful than watching it being made, I think. So, anyways, uh, let's just get right to it. Finding my X0, then I gotta move in half the thickness of this, another hundred thousandths to get my true zero. Now we will drill. A lot of pecking gonna go on. Put the deep holes so we're gonna have to clear it. relatively painless. Now I've got to go to a larger size which will be the body drill and I need to go just a little bit over halfway. So we're going to go in 0.7 and I am going to use the uh, the DRO on my quill to set that distance. So I went in 0.7, which was a tenth of an inch over halfway. And we're going to flip it around, do the same thing. So I tapped the uh, hole last, and uh, I had to do it by hand because it was really deep and really tight. So I'm going to flip it around and do the other side. All right, so here is the uh, tool with the screws in. Now I just need to slit these back a ways, and... Uh, when I'm done, I need to rechase the threads. Um, take these screws out before I cut it, or I'll cut them in half. <laughs> All right, I'll bring you back after I do the bandsaw. So originally, I was going to do this on the bandsaw, but I am terrible with hand-eye coordination. So I'd like to get a straight cut, and I thought, well, the best way to do that is a slitting saw, since I don't need to go that deep. I'm pretty much going to go the full depth of this blade, so I can cut into the other side. That way, it'll let squeeze from both sides. <laughs> Let's see if I can uh, power feed this. Let's see if I can keep up with this. I 
don't want the power feed too fast because if it pushes too hard, it'll break the blade. Now I'm focused on the distance between the relief on the inside of this blade and where the part is, and I will stop when I get close. Up. Sorry about the noise, and we'll try it out after I clean up. Alright, so using this guy is pretty straightforward. All you do is uh, thread your part in that you're uh, going to grind off, get it to the length you want, <coughs> and just tighten this guy down and you're good to go. Just take over the grinder and grind it off. You know, get it like this and grind it off. A um, couple things to think about is this is a uh, pretty thick material that I used here. A little bit thinner might have been better. Um, relieving this further might help. Uh, I had to pre-crimp this guy in the vise, so the screw wasn't able to pull it tight very easily. But once I did that, then it's uh, pretty darn tight. So I had to pre-bend it in the vise. Anyways, that's it. Hope you like the idea. It's not my original. I got it from Tom Lipton, but uh, thought I'd share it anyway since I needed to make one. And uh, hope you enjoyed. See you next time.